Consider the most important rocket in the world. The Falcon 9 is the milestone that has ushered in a new era of human spaceflight. Recently, it has opened the fans' eyes even wider when SpaceX just did something unusual that no one ever did before. So, what exactly did SpaceX do that was so unusual? Let's find out more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Becoming a norm for SpaceX, the launch of Falcon 9's rockets no longer a surprise these days. A string of success over a period of time seems to make us forget that this is no easy feat to accomplish. However, if you are a space enthusiast, a diehard fan of SpaceX, then surely during the recent Falcon 9 launches, we must have thrown celebrations. First, it's a record in terms of the number of launch missions. With the latest launch of the Falcon 9, on April 24th. It's brought SpaceX's total launches to 42 times in just the first four months of 2024, surpassing more than half the Falcon 9 launches for the entire calendar year of 2022. This is an astounding number that shows us the rapid pace with an average of one launch mission every 2.7 days. To clearly illustrate this, let's look at the record for total launches worldwide from the mid-80s to the 2010s, which was 129. Meanwhile, SpaceX's goal this year is to achieve over 140 launches. It must be understood that with the blistering launch cadence that SpaceX is currently maintaining with Falcon 9, it's predicted that they could surpass the previously set record, but with the big difference being that it'll be the launch record of a single operational rocket in just one year. Wow. As for the total number of launches of a rocket since production, Russia's Soyuz still holds that top spot. Across all its variants since its debut in 1966, the Soyuz rocket has launched over 1,700 times. Soyuz will continue to increase its number, but at a very low rate and may even gradually decrease. It'll continue to perform around a dozen missions each year for most of the remaining time this decade, if not longer. Although Russia's space program has continuously talked about replacing Soyuz with a newer reusable rocket line, such boosters are still on the drawing board. For the Falcon 9 rocket, across its variants, the boosters have launched nearly 350 times. According to preliminary calculations, it could surpass the Soyuz in the 2030s. This would occur when Falcon 9 is still SpaceX's workhorse. But as everyone knows, SpaceX is still making fully reusable Starship, which will cause the Falcon 9 launch cadence to be drastically reduced, although it will continue to operate. Aside from the record for the number of launches, with its most recent flight, Falcon 9's brought SpaceX its second record, the record record for the 300th rocket booster landing. Congrats to SpaceX team on 300 rocket landings, Elon Musk quickly congratulated the success achieved by SpaceX Falcon. Let's give a round of applause for this because it is truly an amazing feat for the American aerospace industry, right? How many reusable rockets are there in the world? Has anyone done what SpaceX has? Of course not. That's a lot of booster re-entries and landings, especially happening in under a decade. SpaceX was able to successfully land and recover a Falcon 9 rocket booster until the rocket's 20th overall flight. This historic first landed booster occurred during the Orbcom 2 mission on December 22, 2015, when it returned to the launch pad near the launch site. The milestone of SpaceX's first drone ship landing where the booster lands on a drone ship at sea did not happen until four months after that initial ground landing. Therefore, over the lifespan of the fleet, SpaceX has landed around 85% of the Falcon rockets it's launched. Nowadays, over 90% of all its missions are performed on previously flown boosters. So rocket recycling has become absolutely essential. To clearly illustrate the significance of 300 Falcon 9 landings, let's consider the material savings involved. 300 rocket landings means SpaceX has preserved 2,700 Merlin rocket engines. Roughly speaking, the dry mass of the Falcon 9 first stage is around 50 tons. So the landing of all these rockets have prevented 15,000 tons of metal and other materials from being dumped into the ocean, equivalent in mass to around 100 houses. To be honest, achieving an intact landing for other rocket companies would already be difficult, but for SpaceX to have its rockets land for the 300th time is simply unimaginable. Moreover, 300 exceeds the total number of launches of every other operational rocket out there. Russia's soon to be returned retired Proton M has 115 launches, American-made Atlas V has 99, and China's Long March 2D has 89 liftoffs. Finally, we can conclude that there's no competitor behind Falcon 9. So what is the secret to these audacious achievements? Well, anyone who follows space will immediately have this answer. Precisely, it's SpaceX's proprietary reusability approach. Once you achieve reusability, you can reduce launch costs, attract more customers, and generate more profits for your business. But wait, do SpaceX's reused Falcon 9 rocket launches really bring in substantial revenue for SpaceX and Elon Musk? Well, I guess everyone would think that Falcon 9 is the cash cow, but the truth has a slight twist. Let's take the example of 2023 for us to look at together. 
According to estimates by Payload Space, SpaceX charges for its launches with an average price from zero to $260 million. Depending on the different missions, they'll charge different prices. Generally speaking, government launches tend to carry higher price tags, not just because the U.S. government can afford to pay more, it can literally print money to pay its bills after all, but also because NASA and other government launches simply tend to involve more red tape and regulatory requirements that tend to drive costs higher. Also, generally speaking, flights carrying astronauts get higher prices that flights don't. Notably, SpaceX's launch segment will have zero U.S. dollar revenue when they launch the Starlink satellites. A loss? Not at all. Zero dollars is actually the largest amount for SpaceX. Perhaps the biggest revelation from Payload's report on SpaceX's 2023 sales and earnings is also the worst kept secret in space. Despite reaping $3.5 billion in revenue from space launches in 2023, Space Launch is now SpaceX's smallest business. Turns out SpaceX actually gets most of its money from Starlink. Payload declared 2023 the year of Starlink, and for good reason, as Starlink expanded around the globe to cover more than 70 countries today. With more than 2.2 million paying satellite internet subscribers, Starlink has become SpaceX's biggest business, with 2023 revenue approaching $4.2 billion. And that's not all. Up till now, SpaceX's biggest claim to fame has been the ultra-low cost of its rocket launches. Big as those multi-million dollar prices shown above may sound high to you and me, so low that European rivals are complaining SpaceX is driving them out of business, while American rival United Launch Alliance has had to cut its prices drastically to compete. As such, we've realized that although Falcon 9 launches a lot, they are primarily Starlink flights that generate a much higher profit margin compared to the profit margin of launching rockets in space. And SpaceX's money will get even more massive if they use Starship to launch Starlink satellites. The large payload capacity allows SpaceX to carry tens of times more satellites, in addition to the upgrades and expanded bandwidth with the Starlink V2 system being researched and produced. According to astrophysicist and satellite tracker Jonathan McDowell, there are currently 5,800 active satellites in LEO, and SpaceX aims to launch up to 42,000 more in the future. Their latest Falcon launch was one of the dedicated construction launches for building the massive Starlink mega constellation. In summary, up until now, SpaceX has been making its work increasingly interesting and unique. After so many years of effort, each of their steps forward is now a new milestone that could become a record any time, because no one else can do what they're doing, and because they're unique. As a SpaceX fan, I've always felt Falcon 9 is a very meaningful symbol. If Starship is an illuminating presence in the future, Falcon 9 is the catalyst that creates that light. It would be a pity if Falcon 9 became obsolete. But even if it can no longer fly, this rocket will still be something unforgettable in all our hearts. But it is certain Falcon 9 will continue to progress till that point. This rocket will be taking all the winning cups for another decade. And that's it for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.